After getting my uh, CNC router running, I quickly realized I need some way to hold blanks down and hold them in place while I'm routing them. Um, I thought about putting inserts and using uh, screw type hardware or whatnot to hold the parts down. But after thinking about it, I um, realized that it would be too easy for me to hit that kind of stuff with the router bit due to a uh, misprogrammed part or just not paying attention properly. So I decided to come up with a system that I basically could not hurt the router bit with. I finally decided on a system just using um, wooden wedges and wooden cams and then rubber bands to actually tension them and hold them in place that um, basically I could destroy the clamps easily with the router but would not hurt the router bit. So the first thing I did was I started by laying out a series of holes in the table and drawing them with the router. I then cut some wedges on my table so I'm using a taper jig for my first set of clamps that basically are used for square or rectangular parts. And all they do is I put a couple of pins into holes in the top and then I insert a matched pair of wedges and basically I just slide them together to give me the clamping force. Uh, once they're in place it doesn't take much to hold them there so that they won't release. So what I wound up doing was putting a couple dowel pins in the end of each one and then I just stretch a fairly heavy rubber band over them and it keeps them from vibrating loose as the uh, parts are being routed. They actually provide a really good deal of um, clamping forces with very little forces required to uh, apply it. Uh, and to remove them, you just have to pick, pick up the two ends and kind of twist them out of place and they come right out. Each set provides over an inch of clamping travel, so with the hole spaced one inch on the table, there's never a place where you're not able to clamp with these. And to be able to clamp like odd-shaped parts where I want to go back and do a second operation on them, I came up with a set of uh, cam-type paddles that have a series of holes that are all offset by one sixteenth of an inch from each other from the cam. And by using some pegs I drop into the table board, I'm able to pivot them on there and provide a um, cam type clamping. With these clamps, I also have some shorter pins that I can insert on the opposite end, that's not the cam end, and um, stretch some rubber bands against that to provide clamping forces. And one of the things is it's fairly easy to change out a part if you're gonna be doing multiple parts. So um, it will be a time saver in the future. Also using the pins and cams, it's very easy to come up with a clamping fixture for a round part and um, have each one located in the same position as you switch out parts. So, so far these are the um, clamp configurations that I have come up with and they pretty much will fit all my needs, but I do have some ideas for a couple of more that I'll be adding in the future. The only thing else that I did was I added some self-adhesive sandpaper strips to my guides just to keep everything from slipping and moving around. Uh, next I had three blanks that I wanted to run and they all basically were the same size and they were going to have the same configuration on them. So I got a chance to try out my clamps. Um, I clamped the first piece on and everything routed fine. The clamp stayed locked and um, it looks like they're going to work out okay. The good thing about the clamps is that when you're done with one part, it's a very easy switch over to the next part. You just pop them apart and then you um, drop the next blank in place and then you just repeat the, um, the sliding together and locking and putting the rubber bands back on and you're set to go. And the best part that I like about it is seeing my so far lack of programming skills and how things can actually go wrong and sometimes go in the wrong direction or whatnot. Uh, these clamps are basically indestructible and they will not hurt the bit and they're very easy to make another set if I do damage them. I originally was concerned when I started them was that there may be some up upward force on the blank when using the spiral bits that may try to pull it up, 
but I added a sandpaper to the guides and when you lock these actually lock these cams in place there's no way that that board seems to want to pull up out of there so I'm happy so far with how they're working. Another good feature of the clamps was that they only cost me about a dollar for a bag of rubber bands from Walmart and um, everything else was just basically scrap wood and whatnot that I had laying around my shop so there was a zero cost where at one point I was looking at putting some tracks and buying some hardware that was probably close to a 50 to $60 bill by the time you got done. And again, I was able to switch over to route my last part really quick and easily, and um, nothing seems to be moving around or anything, and everything seems to be holding good. Another trick that I tried when cutting these parts was I made the... Um, the blank one sixteenth of an inch oversize and then over thickness I mean and then I made the cuts forty thousandths less than the thickness of the blank and that allowed the, the parts to stay in the blank until the final operation so nothing would move around and then I just took them back to the joiner and I moved one sixteenth of an inch and the parts were able to just fall free. Having the uh, eight inch spiral head joiner really is gonna help in the future, I can see when uh, making routed parts, because this seems to be the easiest way to keep everything in place until you've made all the final cuts. I also have a batch of garden signs that I plan on making in the near future, and I can see these clamps really speeding things up and allowing me to switch out blank really quick. I also have several other ideas about how to clamp parts without using any metal hardware that I will most likely be developing and um, posting some videos of in the future. Please post comments if you have any other ideas that you think I should try in the future. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. And if you would like to see additional videos, some of them like this in the future, please subscribe. Thank you.